Welcome and hello. It's me, your friend, Egil Thors. Today is a little different. I'll be telling you the history of slavery in the Viking times and what it meant to be a slave. Don't forget, click on the bar there and notification bell. We're always pleased to hear from you. Okay. We hear through the sagas and histories about slaves. First of all, how do you become a slave? There are a number of ways. You can be born into slavery or a prisoner of war, which is not a, a good career move. But, okay, you've got your slave. How do you recognize it? Well, first of all, the hair would be short and he'd have an iron collar. He'd be worked very hard indeed. Depending on which family you're with, it said it took three slaves to work a medium-sized farm. So having lots of slaves on a big farm, quite normal. But you can also imagine in Jorvik, say the coin maker has a slave. And because of the size of the place, it almost be one of the family. A slave was not allowed to have armed rebellion. He owned nothing. Now, what happens if a master kills his slave? Well, he's an idiot. Because a slave, look on it, is like killing your plough horse. It's a very big part of your workforce. If a free man should commit a crime with a slave, the slave is free of any punishment whatsoever. It's hard work on that. Now, another thing which people may not find palatable, but is in fact a fact of life for the times. If you were a rich man, you had your wife, but you also had a concubine. Wives were women you loved and had children by. Concubines were for other practices. And it was quite acceptable in those like to have a concubine and to be a concubine. Though not very pleasant. So you're saying, okay, it must be being a slave. What rights as a slave? Very few, really. It is said in South Norway that should a man slave catch his wife in bed with the master, he is to go to the stream, fill a bucket of water, throw it over them, wish them good night, and sleep outside. Now, that may seem very petty, but it has implications because the master's going home soaking wet. His wife knows full well what he's been up to and it's not a very good move socially. In fact, he would be probably sleeping out in the barn if the wife had anything about it. We'll deal with women in another video. Now, what about it? You stuck as a slave for life? No, you're not. Depending on your master, you could probably buy uh, your, your freedom, which would mean You've got your own piece of land, which you could farm, grow crops, raise cattle on, and sell. And then you become a freeman. A freeman would be denoted with this, the scramasax or wound knife. This is a sign of your freedom. And in the law courts, you would raise your scramasax to vote either yes or no. Hence today we have places called weapon tax weapon takes. Only free men, and I mean men, were allowed to vote. So the slave could buy his way out. Theoretically after that he could make himself work his way up to be a king. Very rare if ever that happened. But it was there. His master might grant him his freedom depending on what he did. Man, the master may be getting old and thinking, I've got all these slaves, what do I do? I'll set them free, then it's some of their problem, not mine. So that's a thumbnail sketch of about a Viking slave. It's perhaps misleading when they call them nithings, nothings. On the paper, yes, it looks that way. But they contributed greatly to the wealth of someone like Braggy, for instance. He'd have some working on his farm. Three men doing the work, he can only do one man's work. They're doing three men's work. They're making him money. 
and that will be rewarded in later life. So there's a little bit of an introduction there to uh, slaves and slavery. Uh, there is another method of course when the Vikings raided the monasteries A. They got gold and silver to buy slaves but monks and nuns make excellent slaves they then go over spending the silver getting more slaves and they sell them to the Irish and the English and when they come back the following year they're probably dead or died very lucrative profession although today of course unacceptable so anyway please leave us your comments see what you think and uh, we'll get back to you until we meet again Fahil